Preventing the virus to finding out if you got it. The federal government's free COVID test website officially launched today, but some users had trouble ordering theirs. There have been complaints of duplicate addresses with very little help offered. CBS 8's Heather Hope has more on how some San Diegans are getting answers for themselves on social media. Many say it's been easy on the website and they were able to receive a confirmation number. But still other San Diegans say after repeated attempts, they still keep getting an error message. A day before the official launch of COVIDTest.gov, many reported glitches with the website when trying to place their order, an occurrence most common for those in multi-dwelling residences like Janet Beach, who lives on a boat off Shelter Island. She says it was easy to order the four free COVID rapid tests for herself, but when she tried to order the test for her neighbor... And it didn't work, and it said that someone at that address had already ordered tests. Janet tried again today and got the same duplicates message. She took to social media for solutions. Many have suggested when on the test ordering website, don't put your apartment number in the apartment line, but put it on the street address line. But that still didn't work for Janet. Kendra on Twitter suggests calling 1-800-ASK-USPS to get your address recategorized as a multi-unit dwelling. Others on Twitter shared their problems in not being able to order tests, from language barriers to business addresses not being accepted by the government website. One man wrote he's living in an RV park and using its business address, which the website rejected because it only accepts residential addresses. We tried a few times throughout the day to order COVID tests. For one home address in El Cajon, it worked out easily. And for a P.O. Box address, it also went through and emailed confirmations that the test will be shipped in 7 to 12 days in late January. Should we have done more testing earlier? Yes. But we're doing more now. We've gone from zero at-home tests a year ago to 375 million tests on the market in just this month. Nationwide, the White House reports there were isolated problems with user address verification, but no major issues have been reported. Just last Friday, the White House said it was going to launch a phone number to help those who have difficulty on the website to call and order a COVID test by phone, but it has not yet released a number. For more information on how you can order a COVID test, you can go to our website at cbs8.com and click on the help button. Heather Hope, CBS 8. Thank you, Heather. For more information on our stories related to the COVID pandemic, you can text the word COVID to 858-571-8888 and we'll send a link directly back to your phone.